Good morning, friends. I reckon it's Wednesday the 28th. Uh, we're going to be reading a devotion from uh, Charles, Charles F. Stanley, God's Way, Day by Day. It says here it's August 28th. Uh, the scripture is uh, from James, chapter 1, verse 14. Each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. My own desires uh, take me to hell. Wow, I need to wash my glasses. Shoo! <laughs> I wash them about five or six times a day. I'm gonna, when I get work in, I'm going to get me something that's got that little narrow lens uh, And uh, maybe don't rest down on my cheek and it gets greasy. Uh, each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. James chapter 1, verse 14. Yeah, uh, my own desires uh, take me to hell. Okay, what exactly is temptation? It is an enticement to get a legitimate need met apart from God's will or our outside or outside God's boundaries. Okay. What exactly is temptation? It is an enticement to get a legitimate need met apart from God's will or outside God's boundaries. But it says it's a legitimate, legitimate need met. I don't guess uh, sex and uh, companionship with the female body and uh, so on uh, is legitimate. I know there's, I know there's a sexual sins that take you to hell, especially when you're not married. Let's start over again. What exactly is temptation? It is an enticement to go to get a legitimate need met apart from God's will or outside God's boundaries. Some people feel guilty for having needs. This, that is false guilt. Needs are needs. Needs are legitimate. And all of our needs are worthy of bringing to Christ so that he might meet them. Don't feel guilty for having needs. Guilt arises and should arise when we attempt to meet our needs by our manipulation or efforts. Don't feel guilty for having needs. Guilt arises and should arise when we attempt to meet our needs by our manipulation or efforts rather than by trust in God. Well, I guess you can pray about a woman in a relationship, in a, a sexual relationship. God have mercy. Father in heaven, have mercy on us. Please forgive us of our sin. Please show us the way. The road to hell is big and wide and there's lots of people on it. And the road to heaven is narrow and there's not many that find it. Please put us a sign up our shoulders the way. Thank you for our blessings, God. Please forgive us of our sin. Please bless our friends, our family, our neighbors, and the animals that we love and care about. And we ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you, friends. I just done a small walker. I hope it didn't take too long enough. I'm doing my video now. And, uh, I'm considering getting into getting into the stuff that Darlene sent me. You know, see him when we got there about finding a picture. I ain't opened the boxes and stuff, but I think we may have everything that we need. I don't know what the easel is. Uh, I don't know if it hangs on the wall or I don't think it's on the stand. It might be. But anyways, we've got canvas and uh, we might we might we may need a few more things. That, uh, it may be a good project to uh, start on in the fall when it's cold and we can't go out. But in the winter when we can't go outside, and it may be something that we want to take outside completely. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. 
God bless you, friends. Have a great day. Come back and see me again.